within the technology world, people were really, really afraid of Microsoft. They were really afraid that uh, it would ruin the things that they loved about doing technology. The culture of the technology world is sometimes because people are so keen to innovate, um, they exaggerate the threats of monopoly. And uh, there, there's fear of bigness when people really should look at the competitive environment. The editorial uh, came out the next day after the judgment that Microsoft was legally a monopoly. I had been asked to, to write something about the ruling. And what I ended up saying was that Microsoft's real future would be determined outside of the courtroom. Contrary to the fears of critics, the pressures of, of e-commerce had made it so that everybody was designing their websites to be compatible with all browsers, not just the much-feared Internet Explorer, which has lost a tremendous amount of market share. My feeling, which I think has been justified, was that rather than this big, expensive, uh, waste of time of the antitrust suit, which was eventually settled. The real competitive forces of this very dynamic, uh, technologically driven market were a much bigger check on the monopolies. Eleven years later, the antitrust suit seems to be the least important thing to have affected the shape of the software industry. Uh, and now we talk about Google instead of Microsoft as far as, you know, do they control too much of the future of the internet? Microsoft is still around, still a very healthy company, but the idea that it was going to control the future uh, turned out to be wrong, and the editorial therefore turned out to be right. <laughs>